In this video, I present a vacation plan to what I call the Golden Triangle of mountain biking. This is a region within the western United States that offers mountain bikers possibly the best riding in the world. I call it a triangle because there are three major destinations, Moab, Sedona, and St. George. These destinations are each about a five to six hour drive apart, and they form a triangle in between. Yeah, this is awesome. My recommended ride plan will offer you five bucket list caliber rides for each destination, and with a couple of additional trails thrown in to provide you with more options depending upon your skill level. The best time of year to plan this trip will be in the months of October or April, when the temperatures and precipitation is the most suitable for riding. I'd also suggest you plan a two to three week trip to cover all these rides, but I can assure you this trip will be worth it. It will be the mountain bike vacation of a lifetime. In addition to the ride plan, and while on the drive between each destination, you can also enjoy some outstanding extracurricular activities such as follows. For the drive from Moab to Sedona, if you take the highway through Monument Valley, you'll drive directly through monuments such as you see in these photos. For the drive between Sedona and St. George, you have two options. You can take the Highway 89A route, which goes through Kaibab National Forest, where you can take a short diversion to see the North Rim of the Grand Canyon. The alternate route on Highway 89 will go through Page and take you to the Wave and Coyote Butte hikes, not far diversions from the highway, but you'll need to make reservations for these excursions. For the segment between St. George and Moab, and following the optional ride on the Thunder Mountain Trail near Bryce Canyon, again there are two options. You can take the very scenic Highway 12 through Escalante National Monument. Here are some photos of what you might see en route. Alternatively, you can head north on Highway 89 to Richfield, where you can ride the Spinal Tap Trail and then take the Highway 70 route to Moab. Now for the recommended ride plan. For each recommended trail, I'll also show you a brief 30 second video highlight. It starts in Moab, but you can choose to start in any of these three destinations. In Moab, you will ride the Navajo Rocks Loop, including the Big Mesa and Ramblin Trails, the world famous Slick Rock Trail, Porcupine Rim, which I think is the best segment of the whole enchilada sequence of trails, Captain Ahab, and Jackson's. This list starts with the easiest trail and works up to the hardest. This progressive list and the highlight videos will help you assess the skill level required for each trail and the suitability for you and your party. Windy today, holy. Yeah, this is awesome. Careful, this is the corner.
Yeah, watch the pedal strikes on the right on that one. If you find that the double black diamond, Captain Ahab or Jackson trails are too hard, then I would substitute them with the intermediate level flow trail sequence along the Raptor route, which includes Falcon Flow, Hawks Glide, and Eagle Eye. Nice. For Sedona, I'd recommend Slim Shady, which includes the Templeton Trail, Transept, Highline, the Hogs Loop, which includes Broken Arrow, High in the Hog, Hog Heaven, and Hogwash, and the Hangover Trail, again in this order of increasing difficulty. Okay there, look up. navigate these tight corners with handlebars. shoot exposed that's why it's a double I suspect is breaking. I skid way too much last time. There. Highline or Hangover are too challenging, then I would revert back to the Expert Level Pyramid Trail and or the Intermediate Level Mescal and Airy Trails. For an additional intermediate level trail, I would recommend the Scorpion Trail. There. 
there's a cool spot. And for our third destination to St. George, and for rides including the nearby communities of Virgin and Hurricane, I would recommend Guacamole and Virgin, Zen and Suicidal Tendencies in St. George, and South Rim and Grafton Mesa Downhill in Hurricane. Here's the second one. Really slow, slow roll here. So we're coming up to my favorite little spot right here. Duck, duck, duck. Again, take some unconventional lines. Oh yeah, there's a very cool little feature in here. All right. Holy smokes, what a view. If the Grafton downhill looks too challenging, then I'd revert back to either the expert level Little Creek Trail or the intermediate level Wire Mesa in Hurricane. Following your stay in St. George, and for the drive segment back to Moab, I would recommend a day of riding in Cedar City, where my favorite trail is the Boneyard Trail. And from Cedar City, I'd also suggest you take the route over to Bryce Canyon, where you can ride the Thunder Mountain Trail.
At this point, you can either take the more scenic drive along Highway 12 through Escalante National Monument, or instead drive north on Highway 89 to Richfield, where you can ride the awesome Spinal Tap Trail. Very cool in here. By now, you probably have a good idea of your ride plan. Is it kind of sketchy? No. Oh, it's a, it's a friggin' huck! But if you're interested in watching the full feature-length versions of these videos, or are looking for additional rides in each region, I have developed a map tool to help you. Just go to my website at ronsworld.ca and click on the top 100 list tab. Then click on the Maps of MTB Trails tab and scroll down to the window that shows you the map. Then expand the window so that you can see the layer panel on the left. Now let's zoom into the Moab region and you can see the bicycle icons for each of the individual feature length ride videos for trails around Moab. For an example, I show you the link to the Double Black Diamond Captain Ahab Trail, which is color-coded as red. From here, you can watch the full video Captain Ahab, or the Black Diamond Porcupine Rim Trail. The layer panel on the left will also give you the ability to add the campground, cafe, and pub layers. Let's look for the Moonflower Campground near the Captain Ahab Trail. From the link on the panel at the left, you can also go to the camp website and find further details. I hope you find this new tool helpful in planning your next mountain biking vacation. Well that's all for now folks, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.